Say, hey, Camby. Good morning. As Delta was just saying, you're getting the long and the short of it. You can see uh, almost the same years here. 1960 and the other one is when? 1958. 1958. And so you can see kind of the difference uh, in the cars here and what people had an option for at the Automobile Museum today. And you can get in for free. Now, you guys have been doing this for 19 years. You get a lot of people. Generally, how many people do you usually get and how many do you get on Sacramento Museum Day? Well, we'll get in a normal day we'll have in the low hundreds, but on Museum Day we'll have three to 4,000 people visiting. How cool is this to get to share something that you love with people who may not get the opportunity to come out all the time? Well, that's the beauty of Museum Day. There are a lot of people that tell us this is the first time they've been to a museum, and so our museum community opens up its doors. There's 26 museums participating. Um, they're all members of the Sacramento Association of Museums, and we open up our doors and let people in for the day, and it's been going on for 19 years. It's great. A lot of people will be watching thinking, oh my gosh, you know, sometimes I don't take the kids to the museum because I don't know if I can keep them entertained. You can. We just got to show you a few things, but let's highlight some of these because this is really crazy. This is an Indian here. It's in 1912, right? I mean, it's amazing to think that people would be riding on this. I mean, this looks barely held together from what we're used to seeing now with our with our motorcycles. Tell us about this one. Well, this is just an example of a whole exhibit that tells the story and breadth of the motorcycle um, revolution. And these were the early um, motorcycles. Um, racing was very big at the time to show off what these thing, bikes could do. So when you come down here, you're going to see a whole exhibit of uh, motorcycles through 1912 all the way up into the 80s. And everything from kids' small scooters uh, that they you know, they got for um, recreational use to racing to CHP to um, just the whole wide variety of them. Yeah, let's show you some of that so you can see how things have really come along because this is a brand new bike right here. This is a Spider 2017 Spider right here. But then right next to it, how long has it been? I, I mean, really. It, probably since the TV show that I can remember seeing uh, a motorcycle like this for CHP. You know, now everything is so much more high tech. Now, this year, and right behind the Wild Bill tattoo motorcycle, a lot of this stuff on loan from people in our community, which helps make this museum so amazing. A new thing this year is when people come in, they get a sticker. But if they have that sticker at participating restaurants, they get there's some deals they can get? Absolutely. If you go out to sacmuseums.org, there's a list of restaurants that have partnered with us this year, and it's a new thing. They um, will offer some kind of a museum day uh, um, special, and if you have the sticker on that shows that you visited one of the museums, they'll offer that special. Okay, now they open at 10 o'clock today, 10 to 5, and that's all the uh, museums in the area as well will be opening at the same time. Gives you a chance to go out and check these out. How exhausted will you be by the end of the day? <laughs> it's a long day. We're going to have probably 50 volunteers out here helping us. And it's it's a long day, but it's a really, really fun day, and it's exciting to see people come through here who may not have ever gotten a chance to do it, and, and that's what it's all about. Yeah, and who knows what it may spark in some children uh, coming out here today. California Auto Museum right off of Front Street. Okay. Oh, and there's a lot of museums that are all a part of this today. So mm -hmm. if you want to hit the Crocker or the Trey Museum, you can also do that as well yeah, for free.